Yesterday, the Winnipeg Jets named Adam Lowry their third captain in franchise history, not counting Atlanta, because then, <laughs> Winnipeg, how does it feel to have Ilya Kovalchuk as one of your past captains? And look, while my personal choice would have been Josh Morrissey, Adam Lowry is a fantastic choice here. I mean, not just the bloodlines, but the way this guy conducts himself on and off the ice, he seems like a natural-born leader, great in the community, home run swing by the Jets here. Here's the thing though, Jets fans, I want to turn back the clock here, maybe four or five years when Mark Shifley was Mr. Everything for this team, number one center, and it was almost a guarantee that he was going to be the next captain after Blake Wheeler. I remember people calling him the captain of the Jets, like it was it was almost a guarantee. Paul Maurice even insinuated it a few times, like it was pretty much a slam dunk, Shifley is the next captain, and something would have to go seriously wrong for that not to happen. He was the perfect big number one center who was so passionate and fiery about the game, obsessed with it. All these narratives coming out about him, especially during the 2018 playoff run and around there when the Jets were really, really good. You could not find a more perfect heir to the captaincy than Mark Shifley. So what if I told you at that time, hey, it's not going to be Shifley next. It's Adam Lowry, your third line center. A lot of you would be probably saying, whoa, this was Shifley's to lose. What happened? Does he want out? Did he do something terrible? Like, what's the deal here? Well, he didn't do anything terrible. I mean, the narratives kind of switched around him from being all the ultimate team guy to now people talk about him being more selfish, a bit more individualistic. Oh, he just wants what's best for him. But to me, this raises a red flag for Shifley's future in Winnipeg. And I know you don't need to know rocket science to know that. But still, it's kind of weird. This guy who was, again, the undisputed face of the franchise of the Winnipeg Jets, Mr. Everything. Now it's looking like, hey, we're coming upon a time where if he doesn't get traded on or before the trade deadline, bye-bye in free agency next year for sure. And to me, him not getting the C all but confirms that. Like, I, I think he's definitely on his way out now if he wasn't already. And that's tragic. Again, I, it's sad because he was so quintessential important. He was like the first draft pick of the reborn Winnipeg Jets. He was like the golden boy, the, the prodigal son of the Winnipeg Jets here. And now look what's happening to him. I mean, it's, it's sad. And it's not Jets fans' fault. I'm not saying that in the slightest. I'm just saying that it's pretty tragic that this is kind of what's happening and this is how he's kind of getting shuffled out the door by his own doing as well as the team's direction. And I know I'm not the only one to feel that way because a lot of people who were reporting on this yesterday saying, oh, Lowry, not Shifley, named captain of the Jets. So clearly he's being singled out here. And again, it's kind of sad. I mean, homegrown kid, right? They, they got him, they developed him, they turned him into a number one center. He was theirs. And now for this to happen, it's like, oh, kind of a sour ending. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Jets fans, I want to hear it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.